In this video, I'm going to show you how to fork a repo and keep it up to date with the upstream changes. I'm going to start with two projects here. I have a repo in the original project and I have an empty forked project. So um, this is the original project, well the repo in the original project. It's called Countries, very trivial kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and fork it and I'm going to put it in the forked project. I'm going to keep it all as standard. I'm going to call it v2 just to have it easy to spot. Um, so Bitbucket is, fork is forking the repo. I will go ahead and clone this thing and I'm here. Clone it. I'm going to go in and check that it works. It should work. Yep, so far it builds, that's fine. I'm gonna check that it runs as well. All right, it started up. So this repo just gives me back some uh, countries and, and you see a few countries here with uh, one, two, three, four properties. All right, so suppose that I forked this to add a property for whatever reason. I want to use this myself. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open uh, Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to navigate. Here, actually, I'm gonna, let's just add a, a new property, let's say. Some, what could this be? Uh, population number, not, no. No, this doesn't. Total number, not, no, let's add it here. Population, total. Let's put any number in here, 33, well, 50, 50, assume it's 50, whatever, doesn't matter. I'm going to save this. I'm going to come in here. First, let's see if it works. All right, it looks like uh, it's going to work just fine. Let's start it up. Okay, let's do the same thing. Yep, and I get the population 50, 50, and I guess uh, here it should be 350. Yeah. All right, yeah, so it worked. Uh, so this is a change I want to keep in my fork. I don't necessarily, at least not yet, I don't want to bring this back to the upstream branch. So the first thing we want to do when we do a fork and we want to keep syncing these things is to set up an upstream remote repo. Uh, git add remote upstream and let's go to this. And we're going to get the same thing before the other one. So from the original, I'm going to add the remote from the original, uh, countries, mm, clone, I want this. So 
So I'm essentially get I guess get remote add upstream. All right. I think this is it. At this point, I have some changes. They're not committed or anything. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna commit them. Uh, get add. I'm saying. So now, suppose that I am also working on the other project, the original one, the upstream, if you will, or I should say repo, not project. Um, so let's go there. And I should have two at this. Suppose I'm adding here, notice that population isn't here. Suppose I'm adding things like, um, I wanna add a change here. Some comments. I may add. Uh, suppose. Maybe just I'll add a, a, an actual property. Um, be the alternate name. It's just. Um, I'm gonna go here. Data. And I'm gonna add it here as well. I'm gonna say not no. All right. I'm also put some values in here. these countries have these alternate names. Values don't, don't really matter. Uh, first of all, let's see if this stuff still works. LMVM clean verify. Let's see if that bootstrap script that puts in the data worked out fine. And if so, we'll check to see if the HTTP call works fine as well. So that worked. All right, get started. Ooh, I got something not right. Could not prepare statement. Oh, I bet you I. You put in the wrong value. Um, current president, alternate, alternate name. Did I not call it that? All right, let's see. Let's see what's wrong. Looks fine. Oh, oh and there you go. All right, so try again. I think this is started again. Let's try it again. All right, alternate name. Yeah, so you see these values here. Cool. So this works. So let's say I'm, I'm good. This is a change in the upstream branch. So let's say presumably developers are doing something like this. The um, I'm going to 
push. It's going to complain about this. That's fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to create a pull request. Assuming this is how many people are working. Fine, create a pull request. Alternate name to a master. Let's check the diff. Yeah. All right. Create pull request. I want to come in and approve it, merge it. All right. So, you know, presumably I'm the reviewer. I check all this. This looks fine. Whatever. And approve and merge. Close the source branch. Okay, so now let's say I'm interested in getting these changes, you know, from, from the upstream branch and I'm in the other one. So let's go to the other project. So I see that there's been a change in the upstream. So I'm going to create a branch like a merging branch. Git checkout minus p merge um, oh Yes. Good merge. Is it just get merge up three master? Let's see. All right. So I'm getting master from upstream, and yeah. So this, you know, there's going to be some issues here, right? Because I've changed the same files essentially. So Git is likely to show conflict. So let's check it out. Let's see what what's going on. Uh, country V two. So if I come here, I see that I have these two changes. Uh, population total was already in this fork, but alternate name is new. I can tell that Git like, didn't quite realize that the add column should belong here. So I'm just going to accept both changes. I'm going to fix it manually. This is the kind of stuff that you, know, you might expect developers to be really looking at uh, in data. Yeah, I'm just going to accept both changes so population total code see alternate name disappeared fine that's that's part of ah, it's here it's part of how it didn't work well um alternate name i'm just gonna put it in here alternate name and then i'm gonna copy these values over this would be in principle like a really complex merge because usually merges don't come out like this usually you don't have a bunch of people touching like the exact same part of the code uh, but you know for a demo this is easy all right so now let's run the project here well let's build it first and we end clean Verify. I want to make sure that my uh, bootstrap script worked. All right, it did. Uh, and let's run it. And let's check. I want to make sure that alternate name and population total show up. Oh, started already. Uh, yep, population total and alternate name show up. Fine. Okay, so um, I'm also going to check out of curiosity, make sure my my um, my comment. Yep, some comments. This so there was no conflict here. It just goes in. And um, all right, so I feel good about this. Get status. Get add. Just make sure commit. This is just a merge, fine. Git push 
origin um, merge from upstream. Okay, so let's create the pull request in, in countries V2. So here in countries V2, no, I'm going to create a pull request from my, you know, from countries V2 to master, add alternate name. This is basically, this really came uh, from, from the upstream. Maybe I can just do something like that. Stream, create pull request. And you see there's a, a column, a comment, a column, and the values. Uh, that's exactly what I expect to see. Uh, we would merge, I mean, approve this, merge it. Uh, yeah, fine, merge commit, close source branch, absolutely. And now countries V2, the forked repo, has its own stuff plus whatever just came from the upstream. So, shout master. And so now we're all good and we could do this for every change. Every time maybe there's a, a pull request into master, you, you know, someone could come in and do, a, do this and you would always keep your forked repo up to speed with whatever upstream repo you're following. Or you're forking from. Okay, um, then if at some point you ever wish to contribute back to the original repo, uh, maybe you forked uh, for, for a specific reason, maybe you know for whatever reason you forked, uh, contributing back to the original repo is super easy. You know, just go to the forked repo, create a pull request. You can always fork back to your origin repo that you worked originally. So see here, this even recognizes the only difference now is this add population total, which is a you know commit I did a few days ago in principle, right? So you can come here and you can create the pull request. And now from the original repo, people should be able to see, uh, well, yeah, I'm in the original, original repo now. Uh, you know, that someone is trying to commit, you know, contribute changes back upstream. Um, all right, I hope this is helpful. And um, let's see how it goes.